So the market cap is $2.168 trillion. And now the market... Oh! Oh! It went to zero! Yo! GM, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at an update on Solana, the ecosystem as a whole. We'll look at some specific upcoming events and also some of the meme coins, etc., that have recovered here over the last like 24 hours. So a bit of a holistic overview of Sol here. If you do enjoy this one, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and we'll jump on in. So a little bit of network data here, 1,767 validators currently online, 2,311 RPCs, current TPS around 2,500 transactions there. And we can see around 65% of tokens currently staked. If we just go over to the Solana status page here, as you'll remember back on the 6th of February it was, we had the outage for Sol, the first one in over a year. And this lasted for about four hours and 46 minutes as confirmed here. But obviously as of late, we've had some outages in terms of network degradation. The whole network didn't go down, but there were issues. So what has happened recently to address this? So we had a recent update here, 15th of April, 2024, Solana mainnet beta validators, the version 1.1731 release is recommended. And this one has gone live now. So the validators have updated and this has meant reduced congestion and a lot of issues have been worked out with this patch. But this wasn't the be all end all. It says this will be followed by a further enhancement in version 1.1. Eight. So you may have recently seen from your own personal experience that the actual usage on the network has improved. For me personally, just as a bit of a anecdotal bit of evidence, no issues in terms of trades, no issues in terms of transferring tokens over like the last three or four days. So things seemingly have improved my end, hopefully the same for you guys, but generally it seems that network has had some improvements made here with this patch. But this here is the kind of mainnet roadmap. And as you can see on this, we had that recent one here, 15th of April came through, but the next one here, 1st of July, 2024, Solana V2. So this one is expected around the 1st of July and this will have further network upgrades and this will be, I think, the last major upgrade before we see the likes of Firedancer potentially come in around the end of the year is what I'm hearing. But just a heads up, a couple more months and then we have another upgrade of the Solana client and hopefully even further improved performances. Now what's been super interesting here as well is base chain and the base Coinbase network. Uh, this isn't specifically that. So this is about the Coinbase wallet. So this is an app within which you can trade cryptocurrencies, but they have recently now, as of the last, I think 24 hours, integrated Solana. So with our Solana DEX integration, you can now trade Sol tokens on the Coinbase wallet. So this opens up the likes of WIF, other random Sol meme coins that maybe you're interested in, all tradable via their DEX. Dex. So this obviously opens up the Coinbase client base to the Solana ecosystem more widely. And I think this is very bullish. Now, in terms of the wallets, they're calling it the smart wallet over at Coinbase, where you could spend your sex balance on chain. No updates as of that, but I think this would be footsteps towards potentially having other chains integrated. It seems that they've got EVM compatibility, obviously, as base is an EVM chain, but will they add Solana native on-chain support down the line? This, to me, potentially signals that that could happen. So it's not as if here Coinbase have gone, look, let's just avoid even talking about other chains. This is quite a bit of signal in my mind, the fact they've acknowledged Solana-based tokens here. Now, you may have seen this, a billion dollars USDT minted at Tether Treasury. So, as of recent, there's been quite a lot of money printing in the crypto economy. Our version of J-Pal here with Paolo Arduino of USDT minting all through March and now through April, which is something you don't see in a bear market. And obviously with the recent correction we've had here, it is good to see that an additional billion dollars has been printed. That is due to demand for USDT on chain. How is this going to filter over to Salt? Well, we have data here. So if you don't use DeFi Llama, highly recommend doing so. We're on stable coins here. 
you can see the total amount of stable coins on the Solana chain, 3.26 billion. So this is one of the larger chains by stable coin market cap. And over the last four days here, we had a huge inflow on April 13th, $166 million came into this network. Then we had 33-ish twice, and then around 22, 23 mil there. So over the last four days, over $250 million of on-chain stable coins have entered into Sol. It's plus 8% in terms of that change over the last seven days. So if you think of that as any economy increasing the amount of capital in stable coins on that economy by 8% over a week, is definitely bullish. People will be looking to deploy their stable coins. So this is potential signal here that this could be one of the faster growing ecosystems out there. And a lot of the data does suggest that. So let's look at the chart of Sol. Will this mean the bottom could be put in? Potentially here, we saw a few wicks down to around the 120s, but those kind of long wicks that you can see to the bottom of those candles suggest people were stepping in. Buyers were hungry to scoop up some of that cheap Solana. And if we just take the top as roughly this area, around 200 bucks, it's currently down from the highs around 30%, which is a very good pullback in a bull market. And as you can see, some of these wicks are down around 40% even. So some big discounts on one of the best performing assets in the crypto space. So if you just add in the facts, we've had a market wide pullback plus degradation of the network, but patches now being processed and updates on the way, this looks like it's a decent area to be bidding. And a lot of people have taken that opportunity to add to their sole bags here. So bullish sole, bullish pullback in the overall picture here. Now there have been a lot of airdrops and things on the Solana chain and a lot of tokenless opportunities from protocols. So one here is called D-Bridge. If you've used the kind of bridging aggregator on Jupiter, you may have been directed to use D-Bridge, in which case you're maybe gonna be racking up some D-Bridge points. But if you come and use it directly, you can see they have now got a points program in place. So 100 points for every one buck in fees paid during the cross-chain transfer on the D-Bridge protocol. So I would suggest using it if you haven't to farm this because I think this is a very good protocol. It moves your funds very, very quickly and gets you on your destination chain with the capital you wish. It also says down here, D-Bridge has also retroactively awarded points for past activities as well, along with multipliers. You get a multiplier, the sooner you get involved with this. Now, cross-chain protocols are some of the most important in crypto. As you can see, we have a lot of fragmentation between chains. So I think this one will have a high valuation when it does come out. Of course, we don't know too much about how much of the tokens they're going to airdrop to the people who farm the points here, but I do think it's worth getting involved with. So that one's definitely on the radar, and I do use D-Bridge quite frequently. We've got Parcel here. This one dropped, I believe, either yesterday or the day before. And so this is the kind of trading platform for real estate in various cities across the globe. So this one was a recent airdrop that people have received. Do check out your eligibility. I think you can check it directly through the Phantom Wallet itself, or you can go to their official socials by coming to Parcel on CoinGecko and then scrolling down and finding their Twitter page to make sure you do get the official one. So currently trading around 50 cents. It was by no means a huge airdrop for myself, but some free tokens nonetheless. Then another one for the radar here. So in terms of DEXs, we have Pepper Dex coming out, which will be perps, derivatives, and shitcoin trading here. So <laughs> potentially you're gonna be able to leverage trade some real meme coins on the market. And I think Pepper Dex is gonna be a bit of a banger here as there's not a lot of really good DEXs on Solana. Let's be honest, if you've used Radium directly itself, not a great experience, but I do think Pepper Dex here is gonna bring a new lease of life to the DEX landscape, and it's gonna allow you to do a lot more exotic things with your funds. This will also be incentivized. So within this flywheel here, it points out the Pepper Dex OPEP incentives, an options incentive that will allow you if you do utilize the protocol to buy discounted PEP tokens. And then of course, you could then sell them on the market and arbitrage the difference between the discount and the current market price. So this will incentivize people to use this protocol, could potentially bring people in from other chains as well, because this is very much a traders platform built by traders for traders. 
So super interested to see how Pepperdex takes off here in this bull market. So another one for the radar. Now let's move on to some dogs and dogs with hats specifically. So April 2024 hold account here with has 126,000 plus holders. As you can see, we are going to flip SHIB this run, in my opinion. Current hold account 1.4 million. So we can at least 10x the hold account from here. So let's have a look at the WIF chart. So two important things to look at here. We have two major wicks. So we have a capitulation candle down here where someone just absolutely cheated their full stack. But we also had a huge upside wick where someone bid really hard as this thing was dropping and spiked the price up to 5.79. So the new fill the wick prophecy, that is the wick to be filled. Now, over recent days, we saw Bitcoin made a low over the weekend and then it made a lower low. But as you can see here, WIF made a low on the first drop down, but the lower low has come in around 10% higher. So that shows it showed more strength than BTC during that second dump off as Bitcoin made that lower low. But hopefully here going through the halving, we have recovery across the boards. We've had a 30 to 40% even greater for some altcoins across the board right now which if you go through history is typical for a crypto market. Definitely a gut check for a lot of new participants to this market, but this is actually par for the course and just an uncomfortable thing you have to go through if you want big returns. You have to have huge downswings for the huge upswings to take place. Now, I just wanted to check in with Pups as well. So this is interesting as Solana is positioning itself as kind of a trading like liquidity hub and with the runes markets going live around Bitcoin halving, which is in three days time, you're going to potentially see a lot more protocols with their runes use multibit to deploy liquidity onto the Solana network. So multibit posting here about runes, don't fade the runes. This is going to be a market sector that does really well as a lot of new capital potentially comes and floods this space and backs onto, of course, Bitcoin, as this is the Bitcoin runes protocol. So Pups here is the market leader in this sector, and this one will go through a bit of a re-denomination. So this collection will become a runes collection. They will increase the supply by 100x. And thus, once that occurs, you can reduce this down by two decimal places. These tokens will be trading at 59 cents if that were to happen today. So this will remove some of the unit bias around this token. And as this is a puppet token, and if you've seen them online, pretty crazy community, massive vibes, and these kind of almost cult-like communities do very well in crypto. So I expect this one to have a bullish leg ahead. So just a quick overview of the Solana ecosystem on CoinGecko right now. So you've got quite a lot of coins beaten down badly. If you look at the likes of Render here, $7.90. Like this was comfortably above 10 for quite a while. I think in terms of the AI category, it's gonna do very well. So good dip there. We of course have with rank 44, also looking bullish and people seem to bid that straight back up. It's one of the strongest coins on the market. Jips around a buck, 25% discount over the last seven days. Wormhole wouldn't touch that with a barge pull, having used it, terrible experience, don't like that bridge. We've got Pith down at 59 cents, pretty big discount on Pith right now. Potential chain link rival in terms of market cap going into this cycle as well, so maybe not a bad price point there. Helium as well as a deep in play, 4 bucks 32 only. This one's on a steep discount as well, that's over a 50% discount from the highs. And then if you just notice some of the big greens over the last 24, Mu, Bowden, it's pretty much the meme coins that get bid up very, very quickly. Maga down there as well. So super interesting to see the kind of thesis around meme coin super cycle seems to be alive and well. A lot of people in the market right now are only trading meme coins and have no real interest in really doing research into other things. So the kind of casino thesis and Solano being the home of the casino, I do think holds true. So that is the updates for Sol just before the halving here, Q2 2024. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.